What's up everybody, it's your boy Law Cannon. Welcome back to my channel and today we will be doing Soul Food Sundays. So let's get into the ingredients for our greens. You're gonna need garlic powder, onion powder, crushed red pepper, black pepper, and some smoked turkey tails and greens of your choice. So first take your two turkey tails and put them in a pot of water. Fill it up where they're just about, about to cover the turkey tails, but don't cover it yet because we're gonna fill the rest with some chicken broth. Now this is one box of chicken broth and after you pour this chicken broth in here, you're gonna let this cook for about two to three hours. Now once you see this finished cooking, it's gonna be way more tender, falling off the bone and it's gonna be very easy to mix with your greens. Now, after two to three hours, you're gonna now add your greens. I right now have mixed greens, so this is mustard, collard, and turnip greens, and you're gonna keep stirring that, get that really well mixed into this nice hot mixture of turkey broth slash chicken broth. Next, add one sliced small onion. Now with everything mixed up, this is what it should start looking like now. You see your turkey meat is all shredded, onions mixed in, and now we're about to prepare to start adding our seasonings. First seasoning, garlic powder. Add two teaspoons or more into your greens. I prefer two. Next, two teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, and then add a half a cup of vinegar. Now stir all of this up, and man, it should start smelling like your grandmother's house right now. I'm talking that Sunday special after church. Bring this to a boil, then cut it on low, and let these boys slow cook for two to three hours, and man, you got your greens. Now, let's get ready to make these candy yams, my favorite part of soul food. Now, you can dice your candy yams to your liking, but I like to cut mine into circles. So, we're going to start off with some ground nutmeg, pure vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, one cup of sugar, about one cup of brown sugar, your yams, and butter. So, for these sweet potatoes, the key to sweet potatoes, in my opinion, is making a really nice glaze. So, we're going to take three to four sticks of butter and melt this in a nice sauce pot and let that melt until completely liquidized. Once melted, we're going to add two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, add one cup of sugar, add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and add one more cup of brown sugar. Now continue to stir, um, sauce will thicken up, and there you have it, you have your sweet potato glaze, and now you're getting ready to pour this all with those sweet potatoes. Now all of your sweet potatoes should be properly glazed in the pan by now. And now all you need to do is take one to two sheets of aluminum foil, cover that up, pop it in the oven at 375, and bake this for two hours, and boom, you got your sweet potatoes. Now, I have been asked about a fried chicken recipe since I started this channel. So the first fried chicken recipe I'm gonna give y'all is some mustard fried chicken. And with this mustard fried chicken, the skin is gonna be perfectly crispy, really good flavor too. Now we're gonna start off with some onion powder. And with this seasoning, when I say I don't measure, there's no way you can, you just gotta know. You want some good flavorful soul food chicken, season is how you need to season it. Of course, I got some garlic powder. You got your black pepper. lemon pepper cayenne pepper and with the soul food you cannot forget your lorries that season so I know seasons already contain half these seasons we used already but Man, when you cook a soul food, you know you gotta have that lard. Now that you got all your dry seasons on your chicken, time to add the mustard. 
Now, before you actually put this mustard on your chicken, what you're gonna need to do is make sure all these seasonings are really well mixed into these chicken wings. I'm talking about get in there, make sure every part of this chicken is well seasoned. Now, time to add your mustard. Now, when you're adding this mustard, you do not have to drench all your chicken. It does not need to be in a pool of mustard, but you need to put it where it just about covers all of the chicken. And you're gonna mix all of this up, mix all of the seasons, mix all of that mustard up until every piece of chicken is well coated. Now, get you an extra large freezer gallon bag, fill it up with flour, and now we're gonna start adding more seasonings to our flour to create a really good breading. So we're gonna start off adding seasoned salt. And remember y'all, we are not measuring this seasoning. I know we are not measuring, but this is this is like your great, great grandmother talking to you. You're like, hey boy, that's enough seasoning. Next, we're gonna add our black pepper. Add your lemon pepper. Add your garlic powder. And add your onion powder. Now shake this bag until all of the flour and seasonings are well blended and we're about to add our chicken into here and start coating our chicken with this breading. Make sure you continue shaking your bread in, continuously shaking this chicken until it's bread in, and then your chicken should be well coated. And now we are ready to fry this chicken. Now when I fry my chicken, I like to fry them on medium heat um, into a deep sauce pot so that my chicken is emerged into the oil. Make sure you use vegetable oil, fry them until they're nice and golden brown, take them out, put them on a napkin, and there you go. You got some perfectly fried chicken. Now, if you have watched my first macaroni and cheese video, then you can use that recipe, but this is a different one. This is with a bechamel sauce. I personally love this macaroni and cheese better. So what you're gonna need is some mild cheddar cheese, some Gouda cheese, and you're gonna need some Kobe cheese. Now with the bechamel, I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that you grade your own cheese. It just works much better, less, um, it's not that waxy substance that you ha sometimes have with shredded cheese out of a bag. So just shred your own cheese, guys. So for your bechamel, we need to melt one stick of butter, which is eight teaspoons of butter. And for every teaspoon of butter, make sure you always have one extra teaspoon of flour. So if that's eight teaspoons of butter, you're gonna have nine teaspoons of flour. Continue to stir and once melted, add your flour and continue to stir. Now, after about three to four minutes of continuously stirring, you can now stir in your first can of evaporated milk. Now the key to making a really good bechamel is to make sure that you're continuously stirring and not letting this thicken up at the bottom. Make sure you're continuously, continuously stirring because you do not want this to start getting clumpy and you do not want this to start burning or sticking to the bottom. Now, gradually add your cheese in and continue to stir until this is 100% melted and creamy. Now, after continuously stirring, you will start seeing that your cheese sauce has a very good consistency. It is very creamy, and now it's time to start adding your seasonings. All we're adding is one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, and yeah, get your noodles and time to pour this cheese sauce all over your noodles. Thoroughly mix your cheese sauce with your macaroni noodles and make sure you get every corner of this pan because you are now finally ready to add your cheese to the top of this macaroni pan and you're pretty much done. Now that your cheese sauce and your macaroni are well acquainted, it is time to add your layer of cheese before it pops in the oven. Make sure your oven is preheated to 350 and cook this up into an hour.
Now make sure everything is done. Take everything out the oven and look at what you have just made. You got fried chicken, baked macaroni and cheese, sweet potatoes, greens. And man, throw you some cornbread on there too. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope everybody can make them a nice Sunday special. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe, like, comment. And thank you everybody for watching my videos.